Well, the Alabama Crimson Tide rolled into Indianapolis looking to win a record 19th national championship, and they knew if they were going to beat Georgia here in Indy, it was not going to be an easy task. Having already just played the dogs a little over a month ago in the SEC championship in Atlanta, Alabama knew they had to bring their A game tonight. They simply did not. They had to navigate a boatload of injuries and inconsistent play in the fourth quarter, and that spelled as a recipe for disaster for the Crimson Tide. We had chances, we had opportunities, and the end of the day, I didn't, I didn't get the ball into the end zone. Finish. That's been the moniker of almost every Alabama team since Nick Saban took over in Tuscaloosa back in 2007, playing every play like it's a game of its own, executing your individual assignment and dominating your opponent for all 60 minutes, and every player on the field doing their job. Things we've grown to expect from the Crimson Tide over the years. But it's not always a David versus Goliath matchup. No, sometimes it's Goliath versus Goliath, and you're no longer the biggest bully on the block. And the Crimson Tide, well, they found that out the hard way Monday night in Chile, Indianapolis. They hit a long pass on us. Uh, it was a free play for them. We jumped off sides. Uh, and then when they got the ball the second time, um, with a one-point lead and the chance for us to still be in the game, uh, they just ran the ball, and we, we didn't stop them. Offensively, the Crimson Tide didn't nearly have the firepower necessary to mount a fourth quarter comeback. One glaring reason why, the absence of All-American wide receiver Jamison Williams, who was lost early in the second quarter with an apparent knee injury, and his playmaking ability on the outside was sorely missed throughout the rest of this football game. Look, this guy contributed tremendously to our team all year. He has great speed. He's a vertical threat. Um, I think our offensive coaches did a great job of utilizing his talent this year. He's been very productive. So anytime you lose players like this, it has an impact on your team. So the cliche tagline after losing a championship game is usually, hey, can't win them all, right? But here's the thing. At Alabama, and more specifically under Nick Saban, that is the expectation. Year in, year out, compete and win championships, rather that be fair or not. That's just the standard that's been set in Tuscaloosa. So regardless of Alabama's defeat tonight to the University of Georgia, I can promise you one thing. One thing's certainly not changing, and that's the standard. From Indianapolis, I'm Johnny Condon, ABC 3340 Sports.